So I want to talk to you just for a minute about trust and forgiveness. You know, every single one of us knows that forgiveness is something we have to do. In fact, if you don't forgive, uh, the Bible actually says that eventually tormentors are going to come get you and they will. They'll eat you up alive, middle of the night, all day long. You're going to go to sleep with them. You're going to have your meals with them. You're going to constantly talk about who you don't want to forgive. And it's your problem. It's nobody's problem but yours. You can't blame God. You can't blame your friend. You can't blame the person who hurt you. You have to forgive. Your forgiveness is your responsibility. And sometimes there are people who fail us and we have to forgive them. Whether or not uh, they're, they're doing it, uh, even whether they know it or not, they hurt us and we have to come to a place where we forgive them. I'm talking about pretty practical things, things that uh, literally uh, bring out the worst in everybody where, you know, I know people have, who are watching this have gone through some bad marriages, various things that have happened with, with family, with bosses, with um, even Christian leaders. But at the end of the day, it's your job, nobody's job, but your job to forgive them. It's also my job to forgive them. I have to forgive them. And then there are people who come into our lives who just do things and it's horrible. They're malicious with us, they're malicious with others, they hurt, hurt us, they hurt our families, they hurt other people. And we still have to forgive them. We're not <laughs> in any way relieved from that responsibility to forgive. But there's another issue that often comes up in the Christian community where people say, well, you don't trust me. And it's like, well, actually, if your behavior and your character is not such that it's trustworthy, I'm not gonna trust you. Uh, if you continue doing the things that you've always done, if you've not developed a history of character, then you are not trustworthy. Paul says that we are to, in, um, to uh, give in part things to people who are trustworthy. And so trustworthiness is very different than forgiveness, completely different. So I can forgive you, but not trust you. Really, I can forgive you and not trust you that you may have some issues that need to be resolved. There may need to be a history of character building in your life before trust can be rebuilt in your life. Jesus, it says of him, it says that he, in, he, he forgave everyone. He did that on the cross. But he, of him, it said, he entrusted himself to no man because he knew what was in the heart of a man. And so the reality is, is that Jesus himself didn't trust. There was something about, about that that he understood that the people who fail will continue to fail. And so the reality is, is to build up a history of character, a history of being trustworthy, a history of honesty and uh, truthfulness, and you're a man of your word or a woman of your word. And as a result, you will become trustworthy, worthy to receive those things that have been entrusted to us to, to release to the world. And so I want to encourage you today to forgive anybody you need to. Forgive. That means releasing them from your heart. That, that means um, that there's no anger in your heart towards this person at all. You got to give it up. But, but regardless of the forgiveness, you have to learn that in your own life that you have to become trustworthy. And for those of you who just need discernment, learn learn this is the most dumb decision I've ever made in my life I have learned I have I have trusted people that are not trustworthy I have made the same mistake many times with sometimes the same people <laughs> um, you know I remember Ray Hughes once saying he, he says I I'm I'm a southern boy I know not how to get pulled through a knot hole backwards well um, more than more than once and the reality is is that sometimes we get pulled through the knot hole repeatedly because we just think we have to trust and that in order to forgive, we must trust. No, in order to forgive, you must forgive. You can't carry anger. You can't carry malice. But in order to trust, there has to be history. There has to be character. Say, so you have a great day today. Bless you.